Hey there, this is Fuski coming to you from New York. I'm currently at Jackson High, Queens, and today I'll be trying an Indian restaurant called The Angel. This is this one right here. This restaurant has been recommended to me by one of my followers back then, so this is a good Indian restaurant. And also, it's been featured in the Michelin Bib Gourmet for a while, so I thought it would be a good time to check it out today. Let's go. All right, so now I'm seated inside Angel. We have just ordered our food. And it serves, in particular, Punjabi food because the owner is from Punjab. So most of the food items here is also from Punjab. But there are some other items from different regions as well. So we order a little bit of those. Among these, the lotus root kofta is of Kashmir region and the bell puri is of Mumbai region. But all the other dishes should be from Punjab. The server told me this is one of the best restaurant in the Jackson High area and has a very high rating. I think like 4.9 told me. The menu looks good. So I'm excited. Let's see. Oh, look at that fire. Ooh. Biryani also is very famous here. Yes, I just have biryani here. All right, so first off, I got this complimentary little side dish. This is called papadam. It is a traditional Indian snack made with gram flour, so like chickpea flour that is fried to crisp. So look at this, this is a very thin piece. Uh, as you can tell, this is very crispy and also very light, but this is at the same time seasoned. I think there's a lot of spice. I can taste cumin. Oh, in fact, I can see cumins out here. You can see these are like the cumin seeds. So slightly seasoned with cumin, a little bit of salt. So that brings out the chickpea flavor for itself as well. And this also has two dips. I can just dip this thing in or I can just use a spoon to have a little bit on top of it. Okay, this is cilantro. Sort of like a cilantro chutney with cilantro a hint of mint inside. Also, there's a spicy one. Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks good. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, this is with the hot sauce. Oh, it's more sweet than hot. I think this is like a tomato-based sauce, maybe with a, a, a small spice in there. Oh, it's a cool snack. Mm, good. All right, next up we have this one. It's called Tahi Padara Buri. So Tahi is yogurt, Padara is potato, Buri is this thing, this little pocket shell made with unleavened bread. I had this item before, but I really love it, so I want to have it again. And also this item is recommended. Yeah, look at this pocket. It has yogurts inside and potato, chickpea, a bunch of other things full of liquid. So I have to eat this in one bite. I have learned from my experience before. <clears throat> Mm. <laughs> that is flavor explosion. The shell is still crispy. And inside you have that, the mixture of chutney and yogurt. Slightly sweet, slightly minty, slightly sour, slightly spicy. With all the masala flavor, this is like a roller coaster. Explosion in your mouth. Like, I love this thing. Right, let me get another one. All right, look at this. It's topped with this, this thing on top. This is called sep, these little fried noodles. And this shell itself is called puri, which is unleavened bread. And inside there is like chickpea, there's potato, there's yogurt, there's chutney, tamarind sauce, everything inside. So that's why you have the flavor explosion. One bite. Mm. Mm. Okay, so next up we have this one, it's chuza tikka. So basically boneless chicken thigh pieces in a tandoor. So it's like grilled to crisp. Tikka means small pieces. So chicken tikka is like, you know, chicken small pieces. Like, well, this one looks super good. It was piping hot when it came out. Now it's still quite hot. You can see the steam coming out. Oh, I can smell the aroma, like the buttery aroma. That's very nice. Okay, look at that. That piece just, uh... oh, look at this. Let me try this. Look at how hot that is. You got such a nice buttery flavor from it. I hate a mild spice 
it's more from the buttery aroma, the buttery flavor, and also you have the char. Okay, let's try some Thai vegetables that came with the chicken. These also got a very strong buttery flavor because they're sort of soaked in that. Hmm, this is different from what you got from like the chicken tikka masala or the butter chicken. Like this flavor is kind of on its own. It's very buttery, but it's not butter chicken. Just like buttery, nice chicken meat with nice char with a hint of very mild spice. Okay, next up we have this. It's called Mumbai Bel Puri. So as the name suggests, this dish is from Mumbai. It is a type of cha, and I, I just, I love cha. Cha is a, a very hard concept to explain. For beginners, you can consider it as carb salad, but I know a lot of Indians will disagree. But just for the sake of simplicity, you can think of it that way. Different like crispy combinations of carbs with different sauces, ming chutney, cilantro, yogurt, tamarind. So it's like a sweet, sour, spicy, masala-y, like all at the same time. It's a very interesting flavor. Anyways, I love cha, and this is a different cha that I have never tried this particular cha before. Uh, Okay, I think this is called bell, so because bell puri, right? This little thing is called bell puri, like a puff rice type of thing with saps on top and different stuff inside. It's similar to the papdi chana I had before, but this time it's instead of papdi, like the fried biscuit thing, it is puri, puff rice. So it's sort of like that flavor, but texture is different. The flavor is not as explosive as dahi parada burrito because there's no like no yogurt pocket that explodes. Still, the flavor is quite rich, but for this one, I think it's a bit salty. Maybe a bit too much salt. Crunchy textures. Okay, so it turns out to be, it's not too much salt, but the lemon juice of it, because of the lemon juice and the tamarind sauce, which is kind of like the signature of this dish. So it enhances it to a point that I think it might be a bit too salty because both salt and acid can enhance food in terms of flavor. And that's why instead of the more upscale restaurant, people always add different acids to enhance the flavor and the salts. And sometimes you have citrus, sometimes you have like balsamic vinegar, sometimes you have lemon juice. These are all different types of way as acid to enhance the flavor. So in this case, it's a whole lot of acid, a whole lot of lemon juice and tamarind. That's why I think it's a bit like salty in terms of strongness. But either way, you know, chef replaced the plate for me and uh, explain what's going on. So I'll try this one. You know, maybe I'll like it better, but like maybe that's just the way it is. And also to pair with that, not a traditional way, but I got some yogurt on the side. So if I do think it's a bit too strong, I can use the sweetness of yogurt to tone it down. Again, not a traditional way to eat bell puri, but you know, yogurt is a major part of cha, so I'll try that. Mm. Mm. I think now there's less lemon juice in it, so it's not as strong. So let me try a bit of lemon just to see if that's really this is about. Mm. Overall, I still think this place is better. Crispy, at the same time very refreshing. Then yogurt on the side, just gonna try a little bit. Just to see if I can get, uh, you know, almost like a dahi barada puri type of vibe for bell puri. Mix it up to tone it down a little bit. Much better. Maybe because I just love yogurt, but this does provide like another level of you know sweetness and a little sourness. It's pretty good on its own, but adding that yogurt just gets you that extra kick. Before moving on to main course, I have this Punjabi lassi, so it's a type of lassi. I usually have mango lassi, but this time I want to try something different. I never tried this one before. So lassi is like a buttermilk based drink, sort of. This Punjabi lassi to me looks like it has some like chili flakes, maybe some spice inside. I've never tried this, so all right. Mm. Hey, mm. hold on a minute. Let me get some water to reset my palate. I'm trying to figure out what is this thing about. Mm. It's lassi, it's yogurt all right, but this one doesn't have any of the sourness at all. But at the same time, it's also not sweet. Maybe it's got a hint of spice in there. Because mm. I see chili flakes and things, so there must be a, a hint of those things. But it's not like a masala or anything. It's so mild that I can't distinguish it, but there's got to be something in there. I don't know, coriander, like chili flakes, not sweet, not sour, not spicy yogurt drink with a hint of white peppercorn coriander, that type of like very mild spice. Oh, interesting. And it is good. 
This one has a little bit of salt in there, like natural salt. I almost feel like the Turkish drink item, like yogurt plus water plus salt. It's like item, but weaker, not as salty, not sweet, not sour, not spicy, with a hint of very much spice, like maybe black peppercorn or white peppercorn, fennel, or maybe nutmeg. Just like that type of thing that you almost would not distinguish, but it just, for some strange reason, it tastes quite good. I noticed that in those Indian restaurants or Indian places, no matter where I go, every time when I'm doing a video or something, like all the staff, like they're looking at me like this. When I'm doing the eating, a line of staff, four or five are like sitting there looking at me. <laughs> Making me quite nervous, but I guess just like, you know, curiosity or hospitality. It's, it's cool. I'm just, you know, putting it out there, just saying. Oh. oh, I can smell it. This is also a type of bread. You can also eat this. Okay, thank you. Enjoy your food. All right, so now moving on to the main course, we have three amazing dishes here. We have a lotus root kofta. This is like the Kashmiri region dish. Another is the goat dam biryani. And uh, this one is a garlic nam. So it's like. Uh, 2.5 dishes because this is a side. All right, let's try this lotus root kofta first. Oh, it looks interesting. I think the gravy has a good amount of kasuri methi in here. Looks like a buttered chicken type of gravy, vibrant orange color. All right, let me try the gravy a little bit. Oh, no, I got it. Wow. It's like this complex flavor, kind of like the buttered chicken-ish gravy but this one has almost like a caramel creamy flavor and I believe this is from the fenugreek. I had it last time. It's like smoky and nutty and creamy. Mm. I always thought it has like coffee beans inside but it turned out like this kasuri methi has a property. That smoky, creamy, earthy, herbaceous flavor is just, that is amazing. So you can see there are like kasuri methi things on the top here. So let's get that. This is lotus root but it looks like a meatball, huh? It's got to... Uh, these mixtures inside, lotus chunks, as you can see. Mm, oh, so good. A good amount of spice in here. Kind of spicy inside. The texture kind of almost tastes like meat. But for this particular one, it has that crunchy lotus chunk that you can actually feel it. I know in some of the restaurants, like in particular Chinese restaurant, some of the vegetarian ones, if they want to do a full meat, like a meat imitation, using ingredient that's actually vegetable, lotus root is one of the ingredients that will be used to bake the meat. There will be bean curds, taro roots, and lotus root is one of the choices. It does have the property that when mixed with the proper ingredients and the proper procedure, it does kind of taste like meat. And this is kind of like that case. A little bit like meat, but for this one, you really taste that lotus chunk inside, the crunchy chunk, which is quite good. And you got that spice flavor in here, and this is actually kind of spicy. Very hurry. Mm, I like this. Also, it has rice. This is basmati rice. I want to eat the gravy with the rice. Always eat the gravy with the rice. That carb plus that cream. Mm. Okay, moving on, I have this garlic nam here. Looking very good, just look at how beautiful that is. That char with, um, I think it's gallium. Buttery with the char. Mm. Oh, oh, it's really nice garlic flavor here. Crispy. You really got that potent garlic flavor here. Let me get some gravy. This nam tastes very good on its own, but you know, so is the gravy. Let me try to pair this. Mm. I can just eat the gravy and the garlic nam alone. Okay, so moving on now. Here is the show stop. This is the goat dam berniani. This is sliced open table side. Looks impressive. Smells very aromatic. Wow, look at that. That's a, that's a huge piece of cinnamon. Uh, the leaves. Oh, look at that. Are very aromatic. Let me get some here. Oh, look at that meat chunk. Oh, look at that. That's like a huge meat pieces. Okay, so let's do this. More. Oh, look at that. It's just like, just look at the meat. Just look at the meat content. It is not shy of using meat. Some more of that. Awesome. I think that's good. Aromatic biryani. Mmm. You got the aromatic spice here. Not particularly spicy, but just more of aromatic. And also at the same time, you have a bit of sweetness from the caramelized onion. Mmm. And also big chunk of meat. Some of them has bones. This one does. But that's just part of it, you know? 
Okay, so we got some yogurt here. You always pair the biryani with a little bit of yogurt. I think this one has a bit, I don't know if that's like raisin or spice in there. Usually if something's too spicy, you temper it with a little bit of yogurt to smooth it. I think that is plenty good. The yogurt does temper it a little bit more. Oh, this is not really spicy to begin with. This is a piece that you have to use your hands. It's a piece with bones. Mm. The cup with the bone on it does have more flavor. This bread from the top of biryani, you can also eat. Some restaurant will make it kind of dry. <coughs> I didn't say anything, but this one is pretty good. I'm gonna pair it with uh, the gravy. Like, it's just perfect. It's so filling. All right, so now dessert time. I got this dessert on the house, gulab jamun. This is a very famous Indian dessert. So it's like a tiny little cup with a few of these cute little bowl things, syrupy bowl, which is supposed to be quite sweet. That might be some almond crumbles on the top. Hmm? Hmm? It's quite hot. I didn't expect that. And also at the same time, it's not very sweet. I mean, I know this is a very sweet dessert, so I have kind of an expectation, but this one actually isn't that sweet. I mean, it is sweet, all right, but not like crazy sweet. And it is warm and got the syrupy flavor and also you got a hint of rose water or cardamom, that type of like mild spice in there. I don't know, maybe like even a little bit ghee in here, like slight buttery flavor. Actually, this is one of the better gulab jamun that I have. All right, we have just finished our dinner, lunch slash dinner at this restaurant, Anjo. It is pretty good, worthy of a Michelin bib gourmet. It is pretty cool. I gotta get out of here. This is Fifski, and I make videos about food and travel. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.